All right. So before we begin talking about RESPA, let's actually define it and explain it so that we all know that we're talking about the same thing. The Real Estate Settlement Procedure Act, known as RESPA, was enacted by the Congress way back in 1974 and, well, it was admitted in 74, passed in 75, all right? Now, that's probably before a lot of you in this room were even born. And it's, in essence, it provides home buyers and the sellers with a complete settlement cost and disclosures. That was the essence of it. It reduces unnecessarily high settlement fees by requiring disclosures to the buyers and sellers, and it does that through curtailing or limiting abusive practices in the settlement process itself. So it requires that homeowners are given information about the transaction, the settlement services, and all of the relevant charges that are inside of the settlement cost, okay? So they get an initial estimate and then they get a final estimate. RESPA basically has, I think, 11 sections inside of it. The three that they most, that you guys most hear about are sections eight, which outlaws kickbacks and referrals and earn, earn, unearned fees. That's section eight. Section nine deals with uh, forcing someone to buy settlement services. And section 10 deals with the escrow or impound accounts that can be charged to a buyer. Those are the three the main ones that we deal with. There is a section six that you might have heard that deals with lenders having to disclose information like if they're going to sell it, uh, servicing, and things of that nature. Currently, RESPA is now a federal regulation that is controlled by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB. Way back in 75, it was a department of HUD or a division rather of HUD. And in uh, 2012, it moved over to, uh, well, it says here 2010. Uh, 2010 passed the Dodd-Frank Act and I, I don't think it actually moved till 2012. Either way, uh, it's now a uh, division or you controlled and regulated by the CFPB, all right? Some of the key takeaways that we have just mentioned is RESPA applies to the majority of purchase loans, refinances, uh, HELOCs, uh, things of that nature. It requires everybody, the lender, the home loan provider, mortgage brokers, anybody in the settlement service, which includes real estate agents and all of that, to disclose pricing. Uh, prohibits servicers from demanding large escrow accounts. It prohibits them, uh, it prohibits a person to force another person to use a settlement service that they pay for. Now that's key because we're gonna, when we talk about section nine, uh, there's going to be a slight misunderstanding and we're gonna talk a little bit about that. If a person has, feels they have been, uh, let's say, cheated, aggrieved, they actually have a full year to file if there's been a violation where they believe kickbacks or uh, improper behavior has been performed. If it's against their loan servicer, like Section 6, they actually have a three-year window that they can go back and file claims. So RESPA is basically in general to combat abusive lending practices and that is the sole purpose of it so that we don't cheat or intentionally or unintentionally a consumer by, because we have to disclose all of the information that is required.
okay? Any questions?